All right, so we're going to take a look at how to use mnemonics uh, in order to memorize the present active indicative verb paradigm in Koine Greek. And I've got the paradigm for the well up here, but we're going to just memorize the endings. Um, and it, this will make the most sense if you're already familiar with mnemonics, memory palaces, um, and using images as the language of memory and how to connect them. If you're not, I hope this will still make sense, um, but you might have to watch the video a couple times. I'm giving you examples. You can use them if they uh, work for you, but as always, images that are the most intuitive and stand out the most, maybe you can come up with ones that are weirder, that are more provocative, and then those will be even more memorable for you. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a room or a space, a geographical location in our imagination for the present active indicative paradigm. And that's where we're going to store everything for the practice, uh, the present active indicative paradigm. And so this is kind of like a memory palace, but not quite because all you need is one room. So I'm going to pick my office. As you can hear, my office is really noisy, but there's not too much that I can do about that. Sorry about the audio. But all the images from here on out are going to be in my office. And in my office, I'm going to see a present on the floor, a gold wrapped a uh, present with a big red bow, it's giant, it's sitting on the floor, and that's going to remind me that this is the present active indicative. And because it's the active indicative beside the present, I'm going to see uh, a giant action figure, and he's pointing. In my head right now, it's a He-Man action figure, but any will do. And he's pointing to show that this is the indicative. So for the rest of the, the images here, they're all going to be next to that present with the action figure pointing because all of these are present active indicative endings. So we're in my office. I, uh, I've got that image in my imagination. I'm in my office. I'm uh, uh, There's a present on the floor. There's an action figure pointing. And then we go to first singular. So for first singular, I like to use Beyonce. I use celebrities whenever I can because they're very memorable to me. Their faces are very memorable. I've seen them many times and I find people more memorable than objects usually, but not always. So I'm picking Beyonce for first singular because of her song, Single Ladies. Uh, and so Single Ladies is going to remind, I'm going to, every time I think singular, I'm going to think single, single ladies, Beyonce. And for Luo, first person singular, uh, Luo, I'm, uh, the omega at the end makes the O sound. And so Beyonce is going to be dancing with Oprah. Uh, next in my office, next to the present, the and the action figure pointing. So whenever I see first person singular, Beyonce, single ladies is dancing with Oprah. The the ending is the Omega Luo. All right, for second person singular, I'm going to imagine two Beyonces. Why? Because it's second person two two still single ladies, it's still singular, but it's uh, so two Beyonces. The ending is Ace, and so I'm just imagining two Beyonces dancing with a giant Ace. Uh, card, an ace of spades, maybe, and they're dancing with the ace of spades. So whenever I see second person singular, I'm thinking two Beyonce's. What, what goes with two Beyonce's? Well, they're dancing with a giant ace in my office next to the present, the end, the action figure pointing. Third singular, we've got three Beyonce's. Why make it complicated? Keep it simple. Every singular is going to be Beyonce's. The, per the number of the person is just going to be the number of Beyonce's there. So three Beyonce's. The ending is A. And so they're just dancing with the letter A. This works for me, but it's not that great. If you can come up with something better for A, something memorable for the sound A, or uh, even for the, the uh, epsilon iota combination, maybe EI something, uh, that would that might work better for you. Three, three Beyonce's working with, uh, dancing with an A works for me. And A, the letter A was the first image that came to my mind, which means it's kind of intuitive for me. Sometimes the first image that comes to your mind works. Sometimes you need to really work to make something interesting and memorable. All right, so first person singular, one Beyonce dancing with Oprah, uh, Omega Luo. Second person singular, two Beyonce's dancing with an Ace, Luace. Third person singular, three Beyonce's dancing with an A, Lue. First person plural. So the first uh, three letters of plural is PLU. So I picked Pluto, uh, not the planet, but the, the Disney cartoon dog, Pluto. And there's going to be one Pluto. And then the ending is men, Luamen. Men, you normally think of men, the male gender, but uh, that's a very general image. It's not very specific. So I picked a menu. So Pluto is there with a menu in my office next to the present, the action and the pointing action figure. First person plural is Luamen. Second plur person plural is two Plutos. The ending is Eta. 
And I picked the singer Etta James. Uh, you might not know who she is. Uh, she's uh, a great classic. And I, I've got uh, an image of her there with the blonde fro. And so two Plotos dancing with Etta James. Etta James is of course singing. So second person plural, Etta James, Luetta. Third person plural is gonna be three Plutos. The ending is Usi or Usin. Um, now, uh, I picked my cousin, uh, Bruce Jr., because Usin, the translator, alliteration is the same as the end of the word cousin. Um, if that doesn't work for you, you can come up with your own, but uh, three Plutos dancing with my cousin. And so now I've got all my images and they're arranged and they're arranged to be cued off of the paradigm chart. And that's honestly, I never memorized this paradigm. I just learned it as I was reading. Uh, but if uh, whenever the, you've got a blank paradigm chart in front of you and you've got to fill it out for a test, uh, it's helpful to memorize things this way. And your, your cues are going to be the left side of the chart, first person singular, second singular, and so on. So you are still going to have to review this, even though you have your mental images, it's going to make it a lot quicker. You're going to pick it up a lot quicker and you're going to have this code that you can uh, uh, run back through to remind yourself of what it is. So whenever they say present active indicative, you're like, okay, wait, where am I for present? Present active indicative. Oh, I'm in my office. There's a present on the floor. There's an action figure pointing. And uh, th from there, I'm going to remember uh, Beyonce's dancing with Oprah Luo, or there's three Plotos dancing with my cousin, because it's third person plural, well, then it's uh, Luosin. So uh, you will still have to review this. I recommend going through each image uh, 20 times. So you're going to go through the whole chart. You're going to go through the ending, but you want to make sure that you imagine the images. You take time, you can close your eyes and actually picture everything because that's what's going to stick it. It's going to be, it's going to require review and some rote, but it's going to be way faster than just learning it by rote without any memnotics at all. Hope this was helpful and uh, love to hear any feedback uh, that you have.